Welcome to this test video on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right then, what am I testing in this video? Well, I was hoping to do a kind of multiple test. Now, this is to do with multiple contracts, specifically multiple harvest contracts, something I was doing on my Let's Play, and I suddenly thought, I had a bit of a panic, and I thought, oh, I, I don't... I wonder if this will happen. Now, it may well be that other YouTubers have done this, have covered it, I, I don't know. So I thought, I wasn't sure, I'm gonna do a video on it. So the premise is, at the moment, I've got three identical contracts in that it's the same crop type, and they're all going to the same sell point. Now this may be the same on other sell points on the map, I'm just doing it, these are all going to Goldcrest Valley on Elm Creek, which means they've got to go by train, which is a little bit different possibly if you were doing them separately, by trailer but again the premise should still hold so i've got a contract on field 25 field 36 and field 72 they're in various different states of completion because obviously i was setting them off one at a time i've borrowed equipment for each one you don't have to borrow equipment for each one with multiple contracts you could borrow equipment for one and you could use that same equipment to bounce from from contract to contract that's you can, you can do that um on FS22. You may be aware of that, you may be not. Again, so that's why I'm kind of mentioning it. But I have borrowed it for all three, and I'm doing that with a mix of my own equipment, but also with borrowed gear. Now, something has cropped up, which I think is specific to Elm Creek, and it's this. Um, I don't know if you can see bottom left. Field 36 is not the field I'm on. Field 36 is that field. Um, I'm sure somebody messaged me a while back to say the field numbers had been done incorrectly. They weren't numbered correctly. Because if you look at the contract, it definitely says field 36, harvest the sunflowers in field 36 and take the product to Goldcrest Valley. Fantastic. So I drove over, got to field 36 over there, which is cotton. And I thought, well, hang on a minute, well, that's not the right crop type. So I checked again in case I've made a mistake. This field, however, did have sunflower in it. So I started the harvester up, thinking it was going to come up straight away saying um, for, har for um, contract work only. And it harvested, which feeds into what I was previously told, that these fields are incorrectly numbered. So I've carried on harvesting on here. So I'm taking the sunflowers of this one, which is field 37, Although the contract says for field 36. Now this field does say it's owned by Sheila McFarland. And that one says it's owned by... Let's have a quick check. Oh, both. That doesn't help, does it? <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd double check because it was a different person. Then maybe we could get someone with it. Uh, so, right. The premise being, what I'm testing is... If I send off crops... In this case, all going to Goldcrest Valley. All the same crop type... How does Goldcrest Valley Receiving know which contracts I'm trying to complete on? And also, how much do I send? Because this is also kind of partially a second part of this test. I've been fiddling around with yields and how much you need to send to complete a contract. Again, this has been kind of something I've discussed a little bit in other videos, but you might not have seen those. The contracts to be completed require if you've cleared the entire field, only 75% of the required contract, and you'll complete it. But 75% of the required contract is not 75% of the yield of the field. So if you're already thinking, oh, I need to get 75% of this yield, you don't. It's closer to 60%. So 60% of the yield off this field I can deliver and that should hit 75% of the contract required. I know it's weird, but the problem with doing that is, again, if I send 60% of the yield from this field, and I put it on the train and send it off, how does Goldcrest Valley know which of the three contracts I'm trying to complete? Will it try and complete one and say it's not enough because it's a different size field? Will it try and complete more than one? Will it take it and take a bit for the next one? But I also thought, well, what if I send all of it in one go? What if I just send all, all of the sunflower I've got? Again, how is it going to work out which one I'm trying to complete first? Will it just take all of it, complete a contract, and then tell you, sorry, you didn't have enough for the other two, when I know 
if I did them individually, I could complete them all at 60% of the crop of the field. It is, I know it sounds complicated at the moment. And as I'm saying it, I'm thinking it, it does sound complicated. There's a lot of numbers. So I might save at different points. Now, normally when I do my testing, I will test one thing because it's easier to keep track of it when you test one thing at a time. But I think by the end of this, we may end up answering potentially three or four questions. Um, so that's what I'm going to have a look at. I know, <laughs> we'll see. Um, so I'm going to harvest each of these fields. I'm going to get the total for each field and I'm going to work out what 60% of that is. That's what I'm going to put into the um, transfer silo to put onto the train. Now I'm going to do one first. I'm just going to send one contract off because I'm curious to see which one it's going to complete. So what I will do is I'll maybe take the crop off of this field, say, well, 36, 37, send it off and see will it complete the contract on field 36 or will it do another one? If it does do it for this field, I don't know how they've worked out the logistics behind that, how they've worked out the programming, but if they have, fantastic. And then what I'll probably do is, as I'll, I'll save it at that point, then I'll come back and I'll do what I said before, I'm going to put all three in, the train at the same time, send them off, will it complete all three contracts? I'm very worried, you know, multiple contract caution, that if you do the same contracts, to save yourself a load of grief and save yourself money, you hire borrow one piece of equipment from one of the contracts and do three contracts roll them all up and send them off you're not going to get the money or you're not going to complete the contracts because it doesn't know which fields it's supposed to be coming from now like i say this may have already been tested i haven't looked at anyone else's videos on it i haven't even searched up the video titles or anything for this so it may well be this has already been answered it may well be that people already know the answer to this and if you do that's fantastic you don't have to watch any further than this if you already know the answer that's brilliant i'm very happy for you and what i am going to do though i'm going to move the bits of equipment as i finish each one over to the next field because i think i, I sent the wrong bits of equipment don't worry about the fact i'm going across here this is my test map it's fine um i think i took the smallest harvest to the biggest field I, I just kind of sent them out to the different fields and probably didn't do the correct thing so um as each one finishes i'm going to leave the stuff in the trailers send all the harvesters off so i can get all of them complete and then we'll go from there. I'll see you in a minute when hopefully as we start going through the numbers and we send stuff off by train, things are going to make a little more sense and we'll get some results. And if it turns out that it doesn't matter, that it will work it out for you, then there's no problem. That's fantastic. Um, I'm just very kind of dubious <laughs> that it's going to know what it's doing. Um, we've been surprised. We've also been disappointed. So who's to know at the moment? We are still in that weird realm of... Do we know what is the game is supposed to be doing? You know, a lot of people are making kind of sweeping statements of saying, well, this does this, this does this specifically. I'm, I'm very cautious to say when I do any of my videos, at the time of recording, this is, this is what is happening. Because we don't know at the moment if anything's glitched, if it's not working properly, if it needs the patch to fix it. So whilst we are saying this does this, is it supposed to or is it a glitch? So that's, you know, that all needs to be kind of taken into consideration while we're doing it. Uh, I will see you in a minute, and like I say, hopefully I will make a bit more sense. Righto, we're good to go. I'm at the uh, grain transition silo. I've hired the train, that's sitting waiting. I have got, from field 25, we have got 39,038 litres. 60% of that is 23,422. We've got from field 36, well, from field 37, but contract 36, 11,719. 60% of that is 7,031. And then we've got from field 72, 18,262 litres. 60% of that is 10,957. I'm going to round that to 11,000. So my first test then. I'm going to send off 60% of the crop required to finish the contract on field 72. Because each of these contracts should now be saying 84%, 84, 84, 84. So, <laughs> this is, yeah. 
Mistakes to avoid could potentially be the title for this um, thumbnail. So I'm going to put 11,000 litres into the silo, hopefully. Or I'm going to transfer, you know, whatever I end up putting in, I'm going to try and transfer 11,000 to, tr to the train. Send it off and see, will it complete the contract on field 72? Or will it just arbitrarily pick one and decide where to go from there? So I need to leave about 7,000 litres in here, don't I? We'll see how this I should have done it a grain door, it would have given me a little bit more control, but a little bit more. Okay. Let's try that. So I'm gonna leave that there. Let's go to our train. We're gonna put our eleven thousand litres in. Hopefully, uh, when it on that carriage, you know what I'm going to do? Also, put that on so we can see. So, start filling. Sunflower ten nine seven five. What did I say? It needs to be ten nine five seven. So I'm a little bit over what I think is sixty percent. We'll see. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm going to do though. At this point, I've saved the game. So we're going to do now. At this point, I don't know what's going to happen. I really, I'm not sure at all. So I don't know whether it's going to give me the option to choose which contract I want to complete, or whether it's going to say, you know, do I just want to sell it? Right, do you want to sell the train here? Yes. Right. So that tells me one thing straight away. That was using my um, sunflower from field 72, which I've just sent off 11,000 litres, and that's just said contract on field 36 complete. So obviously, it doesn't know which contract I'm sending off for. It's just pick the first one. The problem with that is I've now just lost potential profit. So this is, again, this is going to be a mistake to avoid, potentially. Because all I needed to deliver to finish the contract on field 36 was 7,000 litres. So I've potentially lost, what, 4,000 litres of crop I could have gained money on because it's decided that's what it's going to do. That's frustrating. Um, if we go up to our contracts page... So that one's completed, but I have, yeah, I've lost a little bit. That's not going to work. Right. So what I'm going to do now is doing it individually is not going to work. It doesn't know which one it's going for. So what I'm going to do now, and again, I don't know if this is going to work. Fingers crossed it does. I'm going to go back to where I just saved it. I'm going to put in 60% for each of them. Um, that totals 41,453 of the three totals we've got in those trailers to send 60% of each crop type, 41,453 litres. That should be enough to complete all three contracts. But again, will it take for the first one and take more than it needs, or will it just register all three, done, completed? I'm going to see in a minute. We'll reset this back to where I just saved it. We'll send it all off, 41,500 litres and see if it will complete all three contracts okay i have reset so by my calculations to complete each contract if i was going to do them individually 60 percent from each crop the total is 41,453 i've got 41,883 so i've gone a little bit over and we'll send the train off will it complete all three contracts or will it complete two and tell me one's failed will it complete one and tell me two's failed i don't know we'll see so, that's a nightmare. Now, the weird thing about this is I did have a message. Somebody sent me a message a little while ago saying, because I'd mentioned it on one of my videos, and so I was really concerned about how it was going to pan out. And they said they'd sent this stuff off, no problem at all. It had taken it, and it completed the contracts perfectly. Well, that quite clearly hasn't. So I sent off what I needed to, way more than I need to. Field um, 72, uh, the total crop was 18,262. I just sent 41,000 litres. Now that should have at least 
completed two of the contracts. And that's showing I've only completed that one. Field 72. Field 25 was by far the biggest field. I would have thought possibly it would take for that. So this is a real problem. This is a real issue. Now, I would imagine, or I say would imagine, I would say, if you are taking it to anywhere other than a cell, other than Goldcrest Valley, or if you're sending off the map by train, if you're taking it to a cell point, you can deliver just enough and it should come up saying one of the contracts is completed. If you then put some more in, you should then be able to complete the next contract. The problem I've got on this one now is these are all for Goldcrest Valley. So I suppose what I would need to do is reset for a different sell point. But it's finding three contracts and it took me ages to get through the map until I got three contracts that came up, all for the same crop type, all for the same sell point. That's where things get a little bit difficult. But I would honestly say if you're selling by train and you've got multiple contracts for the same crop type, you know, it's a, it's a lottery. I have potentially, I could, I should have come out of this with about 27,500 litres for me, which is what I've got in here, 27,137. A little bit less than 27,500, but about 27,500 was what I should have come out with. That has completed one of the three contracts, taking 41,000 litres, which is way more than it needed. It didn't, like I say, it didn't even roll over and say, OK, next crop type, I say next contract is this one. We've done the first one. Second one is this. We've got more than enough of that. That's fine. Um, it is an absolute, it is an absolute lottery. Um, so, third part of this test is going to be then, thinking about this logically if i start with the smallest contract first right the one with the least amount if i send that one first so this time i'm only going to send just over seven thousand liters that should fulfill contracts on field 36 let's do them one at a time i'll call the train back around i'll then try and send off just enough to complete field 72 if that completes, we'll get the training. And this is the problem. It becomes an absolute pain. Because the whole time I'm doing this, I'm getting, I'm charging the leasing costs. So these are all things, I would say, multiple, multiple harvests, multiple contracts on the same crop type avoid it like the plague as it stands at the moment because it's going to be an absolute pain. So I will reset again. We'll do one at a time and see if we can complete them that way. Okay, here we are again, folks. <laughs> so... Contracts on field 36, field 37, 60% is about 7,031 litres, and I've already said that. I've got 7,905, I'm going to go a little bit above that, 61, 62, I mean, just a little bit over. Hopefully, it will take that contract first, <laughs> all we can do now is see, can we? See if we get contract complete, and then we can do the same for the next one. Right. Contract on field 36 complete. That's good. Right. We want to rent the train back. Come back. Come back. I know it's going to keep going until it slows down. It will slow down. It will come back. So I will see you in just a moment. So that's the first one done. So starting with the the least one, the one that required the least amount of crop. And again, like I said, we've only gone just over 60% of what came off that field. That's all we needed. So we've kept back a little bit for ourselves. That's fantastic. Very happy about that. There we go, train's coming back. Um, so the next one, the next biggest one is from field 72. That, I worked out, is going to require about 11,000 litres. I'm going to go a little bit above that again, maybe nearer 12, just to make absolutely certain. We're still going to gain crop out of that. We're still going to be left with some. Um, so we'll jump on. Start it up. And then we'll do the third one. So doing them in order of the, of the amount required may be the way to go. It may be the only way to, to solve this problem. But it's a pain. It, you know, it would be so much easier if you just send what was needed and that was it, you know, done. But we'll see. Um, what's happened there? Oh, I'll tell you what's happened there. I need to put some more in, don't I? Right, I've put some more into the silo. That's really going to help. 
So second contract, like I said, 11,000. I've got nearly 12. Will that be enough to fulfill the contract on field 72? It will. Contract on field 72 complete. Let's get back to here very quickly. Try and get that train back. So that one's done. So I'm doing them in the correct order. That seems to be working. Calling the train back as soon as we can. It should be coming back any second. Fantastic. So the last one then, field 25. I reckon 60% is about 23,422. So I reckon if we send about 25,000 maybe... It's still, it's not 75% of the crop of the field, but it's, it should give us the maximum amount for us to keep. And this looks to be the way to, to complete this, or solve this conundrum, this problem. Now, like I say, this is what I'm finding. It might be you've done it and you've had a completely different result. Um, but from obviously what you've just seen me do, this is the only way it's really going to work. Sending it all in bulk didn't work. Sending off a certain amount, it just seemed to pick, you know, randomly which one it wanted to do. But just sending enough to fulfill the smallest contract first, then work your way up. It can only do that contract. If you send too much, it can choose which one it wants to do. And then it can leave you in, in the lurch a little bit. So what do we want to say we want to do? 25? Ah. That's all I've got left in there. Shall I try it with that? What did I say we needed? 23, 4, 2, 2, 24, is that going to be enough? We'll try it. It might not be quite enough. But if it is, we've had a result. Oh, not quite. Okay. So it did need that little bit extra. It was always worth a, worth a try, wasn't it? Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to need maybe another 1,000 litres. But as you can see, though, that was 60% of the crop off the field, or just over... And that was 69% of the contract complete. So the correlation between contract complete or what's required for the contract is not what comes off the field. They're two different amounts. But that's good. We only need a little bit more put in. If I put another 1,000 litres in, that means out of those three contracts, sending just what we needed to, we're going to come out of this with about 24,000 litres of crop for ourselves. We haven't sent too much. We haven't been stitched up by Goldcrest Valley, by the train company. Yes, it's a lot of mucking around. Um, but it does work well if you want to hire one or borrow one piece of equipment and complete multiple contracts of the same crop type. I know it seems a bit niche and you might be thinking, well, OK, I don't, you know, I don't see what all the fuss is about. But it is a good way to make money. And people have been asking, well, how is that going to work? How, how will that operate? I don't think I'm going to be able to get exactly a thousand. I probably should have done it um, all in one hit. I, I really honestly thought we'd have enough. I think because I put a little bit more in for the first two. And because the last one was a larger amount required, it was going to need a little bit more to just tip it over the edge. Eight hundred and sixty seven, don't that's something enough. Okay, it's a little bit more than I wanted to send, but you should complete the contract. Please complete the contract. Let's see. Contract on field twenty five complete. Now the train's gone off. I'm now no longer renting it because it says there I can rent train for a thousand. So, with what we put in, we've done them in the order of size. It didn't work doing it all in one go. didn't work doing a, a chunk and hoping it was going to pick the right one. But doing it in that order, it has worked. I hope that answers a question. I know people have been asking. Um, and selling by train hasn't necessarily been the most straightforward. But it does also answer the question that you only need to deliver just over, maybe 61%, if you work out the calculation, 61% to make absolutely certain of the crop, off the field, and that will go for any contract for selling. As long as you've harvested the field completely, the contract is saying 84% complete, 
all you will need to deliver is about 61% of what you've got off that field. So if you've got a silo, you can store it in. Um, so if you, even if you're not going to use the trains, if you, even if you don't get anything out of this about the train selling and multiple contract work, you can still complete a contract with only just over 60% off the field and you'll get contract complete which means you're going to get maximum off the field to keep for yourself to either sell, store or use for something else, whether it's pig food or whatever else it might be. I've now got a load of tidying up to do because I've got stuff all over the place. And all three contracts are now saying complete, complete, complete. And like I say though, if you want to go down the route of only borrowing equipment, because at the moment all three of these, there's a lease cost which I'm going to lose off of there. If I'd only borrowed equipment on one of the contracts, I could have used that equipment on all three. So it's, a, it's another reason why you want to pick up three contracts of the same crop type, because you can use the same equipment across all three, save yourself a bit of money. And the problem is, I say the problem, what you'll often find is as you go down these, soybeans, Johnson's Farmer's Market. Have we got another soybean one? soybean joints often the same crop types will have the same sell point and that's where you might run into issues more specifically with the train um, but we have managed to solve that problem so though those are mistakes to avoid don't send it all in one go um, don't send a chunk hoping it's going to pick the one you're sending it for because it doesn't know which one you're sending it for um, the, the best way to do it is going to be to to do it in the uh, in the order of size of contract does that make sense? I hope so. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.